Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live at the 2016 Longhorn Open. We have Alex Cardona against Chase Robinson. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and joining me here with his commentary is tournament director, Solly Kaur. Welcome, Solly. Thank you. <laughs> Great to be here. This should be a really interesting matchup. Chase Robinson, seated number five from Fort Worth, Texas, representing for the Texans here at the Longhorn Open. Alex Cardona from Juarez, Mexico, seated number one, and quite a dominant force. He is currently number one on the WRT. And Chase Robinson sneaks one right by Alex Cardona for the side out. Yeah, nice shot by Chase. He's starting out with the rollout there. He's going to need to do a lot of that if he's going to want to keep up in this match. Again, really dialed in to start. Down the line from Alex Cardona. Cardona definitely known for his drive serving and something we saw earlier today in the quarterfinals is these courts are pretty tough for drive serving. Brent Walters was having trouble with it. Gerardo Guevara, who will be playing in the upcoming semifinal. Um, and it was giving Alex Cardona some trouble. Nice shot. Yeah, these courts have the ability to keep the ball up quite a bit. Uh, they play somewhat true, but they're nice, hard, and fast. Um, Really nice for these guys because they're both hard hitters and should be getting a lot of action off that front wall. Point. And there's a perfect example of a, what this court can do. Right in the corner, cracked out. Alex gets a few more of those. It's going to put him in a nice, comfortable position. Another good get from Alex. Beautiful rally. One thing I'm really excited about both these guys One is their get eight. ability. Both of them, I guarantee you, we're going to see them on the floor and some exciting ma rallies through this entire match. Wow, that was a reach from Two Cardona three, for the side out. Yeah, almost looking at Chase's face. I thought he, I think he thought he had that rally won. Yeah. from Chase Robinson. That's one of the things you're going to see from Chase. He's not the kind of guy who's afraid to hit the ball hard, but he's also the type of guy who's going to be able to hit the right shot, place it the right spot, and get a winner.
I'm surprised that wasn't called a screen. Just crossed right past the body of Alex. Chase barely got a read on it. There's one thing for sure, these guys are gonna be playing tight this entire match. That's what we like though, keeps it exciting, especially in the semis. Nice back Nice shot from Robinson. ball from Cardona. He had a lot of unforced errors earlier today in his match, uh, in the quarterfinal match just before this where he was playing Alejandro Almada. We'll see if he's adjusted a little bit to the courts. I know some of the players uh, kind of get used to it if you haven't played on this court before. For sure. Nice, nice shot. Nice shot from Robinson. Just really brought it in from his hip just pulled it right down the line for the winner. That's what Chase is gonna have to do if, he go, is, if he's gonna wanna keep up with Cardona in this match. Another beautiful cross court pass. short of that front wall and that Z serve has been popular here on this court as well yeah I really like the way Chase has changed that serve I think it's gonna be rather effective it gets the ball in play makes it difficult for Cardona to get an offensive shot and puts him in the rally where he's gonna have an advantage Pinch. I feel like Cardona is starting out with a little bit of jitters. It looks like he's starting to settle into it. it. Looks like he's really trying to control the pace of this match now. Yeah, I think that's one thing you can definitely expect when playing against Cardona is he's going to control that momentum, especially with, I mean, he's just really known for taking his time in the service box, and I think that just helps him collect himself and keeps that cool attitude out there. And Kind of makes it hard to read. Yeah, controlling tempo is one of those things that's just a natural gift, and he seems to really have it. Nice get from Chase. Oh, wow. What, what an a rally. intense rally. Great I think that is simply Chase. a preview of what we're going to see through this entire match. Fantastic gets, amazing rallies. This is definitely going to be some exciting Thank racquetball. You. Now, these two have matched up before, but it was almost a year ago at the WRT Pleasanton Open. They played in round 16s, and um, I think we're looking at a very different matchup here. I think both of them have developed their game a lot. Yeah, and Chase just can't afford to have that kind of an unforced error. You've got to set up in the front center of the court. It takes a toll on you skipping those shots. If he's going to want to stay in this match, he's going to have to put those things down. 
and get that ball past Cardono. Looks like Chase Robinson took a timeout. We're going to keep it right here and talk a little bit about uh, some of the history of the Longhorn Open as we have the founder here, Solly. Solly, um, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with kind of starting the Longhorn Open. Yeah, so when I was a student here at UT in 94 through 98, uh, we had a couple players that were really good and we wanted to take a trip to Intercollegiate Nationals and we thought it would be a great idea to run a tournament as a fundraiser for our trip to that uh, tournament. And uh, one of my good friends, Jack Long, and doubles partner at the time, had experience with running tournaments. We put it together and have been running it since then. It was a great opportunity for us to go compete at Nationals. I think in our senior year we took second at Nationals and it's just great to give back to the school. And at every Longhorn Open, uh, all the profits now go towards benefiting the UT Racquetball Club and getting them to those national intercollegiates. Absolutely, we've successfully been doing that since 2006. That's outstanding. Congratulate you on the success of the tournament. I know uh, everybody looks forward to it every year, so it's really exciting to be a part of the first broadcast. We're excited to hold it. We're excited to have everybody here. Nice down the line from Chase for the side out. Looks like he was able to regroup on that timeout. So Cardona now up by about four points. What do you think Chase really needs to do here? I think really he needs to stick with the Z serve. Yeah, great shot down the line from Chase. It looks like, um, to me, it looks like Chase wants to regain some control there and regain that momentum. He seems to be really calm in the middle of the court and trying to like suck up that energy. Yeah, almost. he's exhibiting some really good composure right now and yeah. Chase is known for that. Uh, he can control tempo just as well as Alex can. Big swing from Cardona. Chase is just gonna have to keep Cardona on the run. Every time he's given Cardona an opportunity to set up and shoot, that ball is down. Chase is gonna really have to hit those wide angles, keep the ball moving in a Z fashion if he's gonna wanna keep Cardona on the move and stay in this match. Perfect example there. Set up <laughs> off the back wall. You give it to Cardona. He's going to splat it out almost every time. Chase is really going to have to focus on keeping the ball in play off the back wall and Cardona moving. If he can't do that, he's going to find himself in trouble really quickly. I agree, Sully. You don't want Cardona to have that clear shot. Keep moving. The shuttle oh. is here. If you would like a ride to wreck. The shuttle is here outside waiting. Little gift for Five Chase three. right there with the skip ball. Nine. Five, nine. Let's right. see if okay. Chase can take eight. advantage and start narrowing the score here. Missed opportunity right there. Chase isn't going to get a whole lot of opportunities in this match. If he doesn't capitalize on those, it's really going to take a toll. So close, too. I mean, that's such a... <laughs> and those are the ones that hurt. Yeah, the ones that exactly. are so close, they start getting in your head and can really affect the next rally. Wow, great get. Keeping it alive. Yeah. 
Great rally, great effort there from Chase. Chase has beautiful dives. Yeah. And just when you think you may have passed him, nope, dive off the back wall. Fantastic play. That's where Chase is really going to excel in this match. His ability to get balls is going to put a lot of pressure on Cardona to put the ball down. Uh, going forward on that first serve, definitely known for his drive serving and power. That's going to be a side out. The ref is saying five serving ten. It's those ki that kind of control, though, like that Chase has from the center of the court where it's not a big, powerful swing, but he just looks like he's in such control. Yeah, nice it doesn't watch. have to be a powerful swing. Right. It just has to be a good shot. I think that's what people forget about a lot. Everybody wants to bang the ball at the front wall, and sometimes all you have to do is a little touch shot, get a little lucky with a crack, and that's a point earned. Beautiful splat. You can hear the crowd going crazy. That is home crowd advantage yeah, right there. Definitely. Bill Adams and Michael Fuller, court four. Jared, referee Jared to the tournament desk, please. Jared to the tournament desk. Yeah, the crowd is definitely on the chase side here as he is from Fort Worth, Texas. That was a beautiful change-up of serve by Cardona. Wide angle serve. Chase has to move his feet rather quickly in order to set up to get a forehand. Unable to do so. Leaves a setup for Cardona. Easy point. Alex can't seem to be getting that first serve in. He's going to really have to get a little more juice on that ball. Just short of that front wall. Got to watch out for that from Chase, though. He's right there. You know, that's one of those shots where if Chase hits that, gets back in the box, and that can be a big difference. But unfortunately, it ends up with a point for Cardona. And now we've got a 12-7 spread. Another point for Alex, putting him in a good position now, 13. But as we say, anything can happen. We saw Cardona come back from his last quarterfinal when uh, Almada had 13. Yeah, tempo's a really funny thing. It is. It can switch in a heartbeat. As a spectator, it's great to watch. We all want to see those comebacks, but if Chase is going to have any chance at a comeback right here, he's got to get his head back in the game. A couple skips, a couple extra points. We're now sitting at 14-7. Game point for Alex Cardona. There he goes, siding him out on game point now with an opportunity to answer back. Looks like Chase is going back to the Z serve, which has been effective. Yeah. And a skip, that's going to give Robinson a point. Now we've Car seen Cardona in this position before. Um, and I think it's really tough. I mean, we've seen it from a lot of the pros. When you're in that 14 position 
and uh, the other the other opponent can just get so much momentum. So it's kind of like can't get too comfortable with 14 either, and it can be a hard mental breaking point. Yeah, you can't take your foot off the pedal. You got to really push all the way through the end. Uh, momentum can change with just a few points earned, and uh, you really have to prevent that from happening now. Great shot by Cardona, so it puts him back in the box. Let's see if he can get a first serve in here and really put this thing away. Short. Short. Still having trouble with that serve. Beautiful shot, putting the ball down in the front right corner to end the game. 15-8, Alex Cardona taking game one, which means we'll be back with more of our semifinal between Alex Cardona and Chase Robinson in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the WRT Live. And we're back live at the 2016 Longhorn Open. I'm Laura McCormick with the WRT, and joining me on the commentary is tournament director Solly Kaur. Gonna go ahead and bring the players out and get this match started. Now we saw a really intense start to game one. Um, I think it'll be really interesting to see how game two starts off. These two were really evenly matched. Um, and then Cardona was kind of able to gain momentum and I think that was the only difference. Chase played really controlled the whole time. Fletcher and I don't think he had McCoy. too many for, uh, unforced Court errors. Seven. It didn't Dennis look like Fletcher that. And Mitchell McCoy. Getting to a lot Court of balls. Seven. What do you think Solly Chase needs to do Steve here to in order to keep Steve that pressure? Steve I think Chase deck. needs to start exploring different serves and seeing what works. I think he needs to focus on the shots that are easy in the center court and put it down and not put it right in the floor. And he's going to have to just focus on passing to keep Cardona on the move. Yeah, that's definitely a good key. I mean, perfect example right there. He shoots right into him. It's an easy shot for Cardona to just put it right in the left corner. He can't afford 
to do that in this match. He's got to work on cleaning up his angles and get him a lot wider. Now another one there, but he gets a little lucky on that one. There's the side out. Let's see if he can uh, do something here for some points. Unavoidable hinder right there. Chase preventing Cardona from getting to the ball, which was clearly a setup, and thus side out. Cardona wins the point. Now that's the first serve Cardona's got in really well on a first serve drive serve, and it ends in a very quick rally and a very quick point. And there is again. He's coming into the second game dialed in. The serves are more dialed in. The shots are more dialed in. Fletcher and McCoy, court seven. Yeah, I think he's really found a comfortable zone out there, you know, um, Court finding two. some of those shots, making that first drive serve. And an unforced error by Chase, three taking Cardona to a very quick three points. And McCoy, court seven. Yeah, Cardona starting off really strong in game one. Uh, excuse me, game two. <laughs> Gets to be a long day. You've got to forget. <laughs> that is true. A late call by the referee, but the right call. Short ball, second serve. All right, so the ref called it as an ace or not. Oh, <laughs> that's gotta hurt. The crowd taunting Chase Robinson a little bit. But you know, I guess that's a little bit of racquetball karma because in the quarterfinal, Alex Cardona hit uh, Alejandro Almada pretty hard too. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess it around, was his turn. Around. Yeah. <laughs> it was solid to the back though. Another skip with an easy setup off the back wall. You can almost tell in Chase's demeanor with his body language yeah. that he's getting a little bit deflated. He's got to put it out of his head get back in there with a really clean, crisp shot, and get right back in this match. I just you and, they have and there it is. There he goes, he now sides out. I was gonna say, you know, it might also be a good time to take a, a timeout, but now with that side out, he can kind of yeah, regain himself in a service I think those are one of those situations where you tell yourself in your head, if I do one more of those, I'm mm -hmm. calling a timeout. Chase is sticking with this Z serve. And I think it's a mistake. I think he has to change it up a little bit. Now Cardona hasn't been doing a whole lot with it, but that's a splat, flat roll. Chase has got to throw a something different in there to see what's going to work. What would you suggest? Like a high lob, high nick, something like that? Looks like I Cardona's think it's a matter of that. He's got to explore different options. Uh, drive serves to the forehand, wide angle serves, mix it up a little bit and find out what's going to work against Cardona. Um, but if he keeps seeing that Z serve over and over, he's going to dial yeah. it and it's going to be over. And he's going to adapt to it too much.
to zero. Seven oh. serving zero now in game two. Beautiful serve. Beautiful angle, just past the short line. Not much Chase could do with anything like that. Alex found that drive serve he was looking for. And looks like that was enough to push it to a timeout. All right, well, that means we're going to take a quick break here and hear from our sponsors as well as Cardona works on that bruise. We'll be right back with more of the Longhorn Open with the WRT Live. live at the 2016 Longhorn Open, where all the profits go to the UT Racquetball Club, who does a great job of running the event, and Alex Cardona versus Chase Robinson. Now I'll tell you what I just saw right there, a little extra pep in Chase's step. A little bounce under the feet, got under the ball quickly, put it down. Let's see if he can continue that and start getting a couple points to get back in this match. Now he did change up the serve, little setup for Cardona. Splat, flat roll in the left corner. Chase is gonna have to do something a little bit more to keep Cardona from putting the ball at the front bottom board. Well that ball seems to kind of die on the, on the back wall there. It's hard to see up here in the stadium seats. got that left corner dialed in. That is amazing. Yeah, I think one of Cardona's most powerful shots is the backhand, for sure. It's definitely the shot that he's most comfortable hitting. Mm -hmm. It's one of the shots he hits the most often. It can be a really dangerous shot if he leaves it up, because it's going to come off the side wall. He's not leaving it up, though. There cutting that go. one off. Wow, wow. Wow. Oh. What Incredible an amazing hustle. Get. Yeah, from both players. And Chase almost had that. That was really close. Chase Great rally. Thought he had that wet rally won with the cutoff splat in the left corner. I think he almost hesitated just a little bit, thinking that Alex wasn't going to get it. I didn't think Alex was going <laughs> to get it. Somehow he got it and didn't just get it. He made an amazing shot. Well, now the winner of this semifinal will continue on to the finals tomorrow at 1230, which we will be live streaming here on the WRT. And coming up next, we have another semifinal, Jaime Martel versus Gerardo Guevara. Big setup there to the backhand for Cardona. Took it to the right corner this time, changing it up just a little bit. You know, at this point in the match, when you're down 13-0, you've just got to start exploring different shots, doing something different to keep Cardona on the move to get a chance to get back in this match. Point. Clear setup off the back wall. Easy shot for Cardona. Once again, bread and butter shot, left splat. 
This is match point for Alex Cardona. skip I've seen by Cardona in a while. Yeah, he was really in the zone. I think you get to a point where you're up 14-0 and it doesn't matter as much. <laughs> so now that's something people probably haven't seen in a while. That is a reverse boast if anybody's familiar with squash. <laughs> Can you explain that a little further for me? Because I am certainly <laughs> not familiar with squash. <laughs> side wall, side wall, front wall. <laughs> All right, Jake. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Getting the crowd involved for him. Starting to get the crowd involved. They're definitely on his side. No doubt about it. Got our Texan out here, Jace Robinson from Fort Worth. Back to the Z yeah, serve uh, again. Going back to that Z. Well, there we go. A point for Chase. And Chase clapping, happy <laughs> that Cardona skipped. I don't think he feels like he's gotten very many. <laughs> but I'm sure you don't want the donut. <laughs> Got that first point out of the way now. All right, and, and the, the Cardona fans in the crowd uh, answering back. Just to make it interesting. <laughs> Keeping the crowd lively. So we're going forward on that first serve. Ceiling ball. Good get. Wow, nice get from Alex. Another crazy rally between these two. It's looking a lot like the beginning of game one. Yeah, that's what I thought we were going to see a whole lot more of of this match. And that's what Chase needs to really stay in these rallies. Let's see if he can capitalize on that success and get in the box with a different serve and see if we can get a little bit more points on his side here. Side out for Alex Cardona now on his fourth match point. Coming up after this, we do have one more semifinal for you folks at home that we will be streaming free and live. That's number two, Jaime Martel versus number eight, Gerardo Guevara. Wow, that ball did not come far off that ball, maybe an inch or two, and Alex again with the patented left splat to finish the match. Yeah, he was crushing it today with those splats. 
Love to see the interaction here from the crowd as Alex Cardona wins game one, 15-1, which means he will be moving on to the finals tomorrow at 12.30. Make sure you guys tune back in for that. I'd like to thank Solly for joining me here on the broadcast. Um, Solly, any final thoughts you want to tell the audience before we sign off for the evening? Yeah, we just want to thank all of our sponsors uh, uh, for, for, for helping make this event possible. We want to thank all the UT Racquetball Club volunteers who are integral in putting this tournament together and crucial volunteers that we have through the weekend to help put this thing together. This is a huge ordeal with 325 participants at two separate facilities and everybody comes together to really pull this thing off and it's, uh, it, it's a really fantastic thing to see when it all comes together. Absolutely, it's been a most enjoyable experience so far here this weekend. So thanks for making the WRT a part of this Longhorn Open with the first broadcast. And thank you all for watching at home. Don't go anywhere. There's more racquetball here with the next semifinal coming up. Jaime Martel and Gerardo Guevara. We'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm Laura McCormick. We'll see you real soon.